So in my previous video, I promised to share with you guys whatever happens with Debbie when she gives birth. Considering the messy experience the last time she filed, we just wondered what to expect this time. Well, Debbie finally put our long way to an end with a shocking sight yesterday when she gave birth. Let's talk about it. So it was a regular calm afternoon in the farm. It just finished raining, everywhere was still damp and we got back to our regular farm chores, one of which included checking up on Debbie every 30 minutes. Yes, it's important to be around when your sow is farrowing. This one time, we observed her pulling and gadget shrubs and bedding to one side of the pen, laying down and breathing heavily, looking tired and exhausted. To be sure it's what we were thinking, we squeezed some of her nipples and saw some milk slipping out. So we knew it's about to get down. We gathered all our kits, prepared our spirits, put her pen to good shape, and then we waited. It was a long wait. There wasn't any action until it became dark. And then it started. The first one popped out. One heavy looking energetic piglet. At the sight of this, we were relieved. At least we know it's not going to be like our previous experience. Now we had to wait for the second one a little longer than normal and it got us worried. Speaking of a space of 40 to 50 minutes, no, that's too much. So we had to improvise. We gave her a shot of oxytocin to reduce the time she spends in labor and hasten the process for her. And in a short while, she let out two more piglets. They came out dead. I think they must have suffocated somewhere in the canal or something, we don't know. Heartbreaking, but we kept on. Now she ended up firing up to eight piglets that night, but only four were born alive. It's not exactly what we expected, but at least it's better than the previous time. Yeah, and that's something about expectations. <laughs> now seeing how lovely and bouncing and healthy these four piglets were, we knew we immediately had to start ensuring the survival of these new piglets. Yes, we had to make sure they get a lot of breast milk. Yes, that is the cholesterol. The cholesterol is the first milk a piglet will have after birth and it lasts for only 24 hours. It helps the piglet to build antibodies required to fight off infections, keeping the piglets healthy all through the time of weaning and after that. Studies reveal that piglets that got a great deal of cholesterol had a higher chance of surviving weaning than those that did not. Now this is the one tip you must take out from this video. Ensure your piglets get their fill of cholesterol immediately after birth and assist the weak ones to also get some as well. You have the first 24 hours to achieve this. This might be challenging, especially if the piglets were born at night, as it is in our own case. That night, after ensuring they got a few dose of their first breast milk, it was already about 1.30 am and we were too tired from the day's ordeal. So we decided to take a short sleep and return in about 2-3 hours to ensure that Debbie doesn't crush her piglets. Yes, that is another thing. Sows usually do this, especially if you don't use a fowling crate, as it is in our case. So we had that fear and we went to bed with that fear. But we didn't return after two to three hours. It was full daylight when we got back and we didn't know what to expect this time. But they were there, all suckling and healthy, looking all fine and promising. So now we have four extra piglets to cater for and we know we have to do our utmost to keep them going. But we still couldn't help but wonder, what may have caused the stillbirths? I mean like, they looked big and fresh, but dead. I know these things happen, like every farmer will have a story to tell about their farrowing experience and how it went bad and stuff like that. But if we have some facts about it, then we can reduce its occurrence and have a higher number of piglets born alive thereby increasing profitability. I'm still on a serious research on this. I'm going to reveal the results of that search in another video so we can see how it connects with Debbie's issue and any other issue of stillbirth you may have likely had in your farm. Yeah, that's the essence of this whole thing, right? Never stop improving. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.